Hey, so this is what I've gone through in a week. It's just one bag this time. Um, the last week before this one, um, I ate a lot of processed foods, so there was a lot more packaging. There's still some in here, not going to deny that, but it was not two bags worth. So let's get into it. Uh, the first thing here, I actually just got this today, um, is Jolly Jolly Rancher Fruity Sours, um, watermelon, blue raspberry, green apple, and cherry flavored. Um, I met up to socially distance with a friend and do a picnic at a park, a local park, and we hit up Dollarama and just picked up a few snacks, and uh, this was one of them. Delicious. Liked it. Yeah. I mean, I like to treat myself <laughs> to, to snacks when I can. The next one here, um, it's the Taste of Nature Organic and Non-GMO Chocolate Peanut Butter. I also brought a few as well of this today. Um, tasty. A little bit of a crunch, so my I like the taste of it. Uh, the next thing is a long grain white rice. I didn't consume all of this, I just got it, cut it, and I've got containers and jars that I put in. Um, it was low on rice, so long grain. Um, I've got a few, well, I only see one right now, I've got a veggie bag. I went, I went through, um, I think two heads of lettuce, romaine heart lettuce. Um, I don't have the container anymore because I actually use it for something else. But I also had a large container of baby spinach that I went through and used up. Um, I've had a lot of salads this week, so it was really good. Um, the next thing is just really super basic noodles, chicken flavor. Um, maple cream cookies. I had a sweet tooth this week. Um, I have, I actually opened this package about two, three weeks ago, but I'm just going through and <laughs> collecting kind of things around this place. It's been a bit of a bit of a mess. Um, I'll probably do a progress progression video sometime soon of where it was at and when I'm fully settled in. Um, but yes, so this is just parcel paper with the brand. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, it's a Sexy Hot by a brand called Ugg It's Vintage. I'll link it, I'll link it down below. Um, it's a, like a vintage, uh, consignment Instagram account that, um, that ships in Canada. So, awesome. I found a really nice, uh, t-shirt that I liked that was in my size. Well, yeah, and then another bag for a lettuce. No, um, I have somewhere... <laughs> And it's packed away. Um, I do have um, like mesh bags like this where I can pick produce um, for it. Um, to be honest, I've had um, I've had groceries delivered the last few times I've made groceries, so I've not had the opportunity to use it, even if I was able to find it. Um, but um, yeah, I think that's a good swap as well, is when you have, like, fruits and vegetables. Um, I know when it was in the thick of, of the lockdown here, um, you weren't able to do that even, or bring your own bags at some of the local grocery stores, um, where they, like, plastic was mandatory for everything. Um, but now I think you can start doing that. Um, so when I start doing groceries and I'm not getting it delivered because um, it's just another chore just another thing that 
I got a bus to, to do and everything, so um, I will be bringing the, that in my tote as well, but um, this is the waste that I have for this week. Um, and then I also went through um, this here, pup style chicken strips. I, I, I mean, when it's on sale, I'm not really picky about the brand. Jane's is like one of the ones that I tend to like, but I tend to get chicken strips or chicken nuggets probably once every three months or so once every two, three months when I see it on sale. And like for me, I'd be, I usually am willing to pay like four to seven dollars for it. Um, something like this, it can get ten to fifteen dollars depending where you go. Um, but yeah, this I think was like five or six dollars. Got it a few weeks ago. It was probably four to six servings for me, depending on if I was having like a full meal with um, something else or if that was just the main thing. Uh, one thing that I actually really like to do is toss it in like some sort of sauce. So there's times where I'll just have it plain, but um, I'll get like buffalo sauce and toss it in that, or teriyaki or herb and garlic. Um, and it just, it just adds a bit more flavor to something that's already processed, but it's a quick and easy meal. Um, yeah, I will continue buying that because I, uh, I like to have convenience in my food, um, whether it's salads, soups, um, sometimes I do like to, tr I, I do want to be more mindful of, um, limiting my processed food, but the reality is it is a lot quicker and easier to eat, um, and less energy to, to cook. So, um, I try to balance that out with having, you know, veggies and, uh, salads that are just very easy to, to prep. Um, the next one here is, um, uh, cinnamon waffles. It's a good breakfast or just a good snack. Um, I usually just have it as is or with butter. Um, or apples as well because it's cinnamon so I'll have it like a little bit with butter and then apple slice on top um, and the next one here is something I, I was starting to unpack um, some of my bathroom stuff um, and I knew that I had a couple of variations of this and this was probably the best way to um, hold like a soap um, because like it would just, it wouldn't get soggy at the bottom or anything. Um, but like, I, I guess I lost one of these and this one's no longer sticky. Um, now with this, I think I'm going to put it aside and try to see how easy it is just to replace this because the bones of this is still great and it, it is, it worked really good for me. It is just a matter of, um, finding like that section um so next time I'm at the dollar store um not just grabbing snacks because today it was just strictly grabbing snacks with a friend to to go um I might have a look to see if they have some sort of suction cup stuff um because yeah if I can repurpose this uh, awesome otherwise I mean I don't I don't really see another purpose without this section um and i don't know if anybody really would want this if i was to donate it it's some it's definitely not sellable in my it's definitely worth less than three dollars and that's kind of my my minimum of you know selling things um so yeah it's either trying to repurpose it or unfortunately um sell like not selling it um but i would probably throw it out to be honest um the next thing here again like bathroom stuff i actually purchased this about six or seven months ago i never opened it until now so i'm gonna start using it um it is this is the container here is a little gingerbread man um the price here so it was for 29 um, and essentially it is just a blending sponge um, kind of uh, I mean I, I guess I could have 
grabbed it and showed, but it's just like a little bauble and it's it's good to kind of blend foundation and stuff. Um, I honestly don't use foundation very often, but when I do, I tend to like the sponge more than um, a brush. So yeah, I mean, I, um, I, I got this. It was in one of the shopper's clearance section. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know, it must have been like midsummer, like July, August, that it was in the clearance section, and uh, yeah, just opened it now. Um, the next thing here is um, just the package for um, paper towel. I got this when I first moved. I, I still have, I think, two, three rolls left, um, and I just, yeah, took it out of the plastic and stored it. Uh, the next thing here, um, I was out doing errands, and I got snacky, and I didn't have snack on me, so I just got this Ritz cracker thing, just at, like, a local convenience store. I just looked to see what was the cheapest thing, and I think this was 88 cents. Like, it's less than a dollar, so I was like, yeah, that'll do me until I get home. Um, the next thing here is this. Um, I, I got this uh, when I first moved here because I couldn't find where this was, um, and I really needed access to, like, the... I have um, Dove soap that I like and use for my face, and um, my my tattoo is still like even though I got it in November, it's still kind of dry. So I do like to specifically wash that area with Dove soap. Um, but I found that like I had it originally on like one side of the tub and water was getting into it and so the bar was just like a soggy mess after a couple weeks so I threw the bar out and then I moved it to like the opposite end so that it wasn't close to water but it was still doing that and and it just was soggy and just it was just mushy and it just didn't look good um, for me so I threw out that bar of soap um, just because I don't want it to have like bacteria and I feel like I feel like something like this where it it doesn't stick and it allows the water to kind of flow through. Maybe it's just something in my mind, but um, it's also the texture. I don't like it when it gets to that. So, um, I mean, I I even with hand soaps, I I like to have like a pump um, with like liquid. Uh, the hand soap thing again, it's just that weird texture that. I'm always like, is this safe to use? Um, so with that, I mean, I think I think that this could be useful to somebody else. Um, so I would donate this just to Value Village. I, I mean, I paid a dollar twenty five for it at Dollarama, um, but a month month and a half ago, and yeah, it's not worth selling it. So I will be uh, just donating this one. The next thing here is After Sun Moisturizer Hawaii Tropic. Uh, this was given to me secondhand, actually, about eight or nine years ago. I had a really bad sunburn, and my friend gave this to me. And, um, yeah, I I really liked it, and I've used it since. I mean, it's kind of, it's like that right now. <laughs> but I would say there's still about two-thirds left. And it's just to the point where I don't find it to be effective um, and almost irritating because there's some like scent stuff in here. Um, I had a bad burn last summer and when I was putting this on it wasn't relieving it. So I had a friend actually introduce me to this other brand um, that was I think 99% aloe vera, uh, like no fragrance and it's a lot cleaner. and. Um, when they like put it on on me, it just felt like 
like when they lent it to me for me to use I just felt like an instant sense of re like relief so I invested in a couple bottles of that because I went through almost a whole bottle um, in the healing process it was bad um, and and I have like another backup one but um, yeah I think that I've just found a way better replacement this one maybe because it is so old it's starting to you know break down and it's not effective anymore but yeah it was just to the point where it smells nice and it, it might be a nice cream and stuff but I've got enough lotions and it's like it's kind of I don't know it's old so I'm just gonna throw this one away um, the next one is um, chocolate bar it was two in one I had one one day and like I I learned this from my parents that sometimes they'll just put um, chocolate bars in the freezer um, especially if they only eat part of it like half of it or if it's two part and they will only eat one of the pieces so I ate you know, one one day and then two, three days later I ate the other. And then the last thing is um, this lotion here. It's a foot lotion. Um, and this was a pack that I got at Shepherd's Drug Mart uh, sometime in the summer, like July, August. And um, it was a three pack. It was this one and then like a foot soak and then slippers. I went through the foot soak quite quickly because there's only about two or three uses out of it. Um, this one here I've probably used about ten times and there's still, I would say, quite a bit left. Um, it smells nice, but um, it's really oily and I don't find that it really goes deeply into my skin, like in my foot. And um, it's just not a pleasant experience for me. I just it's not like for me I think that I need like a thick cream um, rather than like some or what is it called orotherapy where it's like specifically like the scent um, like I'm, I'm not just looking for like a fragrance nice experience after the spa um, what my feet need is more moisture like more deeper moisture and I think that I've got a couple other foot creams um, that I have on stock or in ha like on hand that I'll I'll use. Um, this one is just yeah I, I gave this multiple chances and at the end of it my feet are still quite dry so um, this one because there's no nothing wrong with it um, and it smells nice and everything I'm going to reach out to my neighbor and see if it's something that she wants or is something that she needs. Um, I know there's a few things specifically that I've asked and she's wanted or she hasn't wanted. Um, but I think that I'll ask regardless and I, I'd feel better about giving it to her. Otherwise, I, yeah, I'm going to be throwing it away or recycling it. Um, and even with this metal thing, like when I say that I'm throwing it away, I would be like recycling it or discarding it um, correctly. So that's been everything that I've gone through in the last seven days. And um, that's a wrap. Okay.